It's interesting to me that the Einstein theory of relativity, it's been discussed so very much over the last century, but that it's referred to as relativity is something I find to be a curious take on language. Are all things relative? Is everything contingent on our individual subjective views? Ah, some of my favorite words, relativism and subjectivism. In our culture, so much emphasis has been put on the significance of the individual. It's sort of a social synergy is being replaced by something a little less personal. Nowadays, it seems as if individual energy and ability are being translated to the digital realm very quickly. I could go on and on about this sort of thing. We have trouble standing out among the masses. Let me tell you about the new streamlined system called Magic Hashtag of the Week. The new undiscovered trending term that's guaranteed to get you noticed. Just go to magic hashtag of the week dot com to enter your email address for a free masterclass tutorial. Okay, if you've seen this series before, you probably just realized I'm kidding around. The guru market has been so oversaturated, and the whole world seems to be one giant sales pitch. To a degree, if done well, product placements can be amusing, entertaining, and even informative. But you have to realize that there there are snake oil salesmen out there. Welcome to another edition of Ye Old Indie Dude. This is episode 25. Well, this is a series where I just ramble and blither. Well, more so lately, it seems like anyway. But no, this is a, a series where I typically speak to inspiration and motivation for the creative individual. Welcome to the channel. To everyone that's already subscribed, I wanted to give a, a special shout out and, and say thank you. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to yet, please hit the subscribe button. So the algorithm can like me too. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> I mean, so the algorithm can show you more content along the lines of the creative conversation. Creativity in and of itself can be one of the most rewarding facets of human experience, I think. Maybe in the top 10? I don't know. I'm also on various social platforms, so be sure to follow me amongst your favorite. Eventually, I hope to have a social media manager to help out with this stuff. There's so many platforms out there now for the musician. Oh right, my name is Jeff Adams. I'm an independent singer, songwriter, musician, poet, performer, publisher with Bucket Stomp Productions. Please be sure to check out your favorite links at jeffadams.info, including, and I have to be my own salesperson too, my music merch over uh, and other designs over at my music merch shops. I'll put links in the description, of course. Men a retired gentleman who enjoys spending his time drawing these really cool, unique design patterns. I thought, these images would look cool on products. And I was right. With over 100 products and selections for each design, and many a design to choose from, please check out the link to George Harmon Designs. Every design is a very carefully done, unique creation. And that's over on my site too, at jeffadams.info. It's very much appreciated. Like for many cre indie creatives, every penny counts, and we're no exception to that one. Also, Another really cool platform I've been live streaming some tunes on lately is called Trubify. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I highly recommend it. It's a live streaming app, it's more like a venue than a vendor. And um, I will live stream a few short sets here and there. If you're a musician, you may have experienced this sort of thing too, but I'll spin the yarn as it were to see if you can relate. When I first started writing songs and performing them, I didn't have any interest in whatsoever in performing cover songs. A cover song is considered to be a song created by another artist and then performed or covered um, by another artist. I personally wanted to play only my own tunes, you know, while, you know, out, you know, fine for a Mike Knight's parties, early recordings. I, I was trying to be an artist people wanted to listen to. It means I had to go through the process and it's mostly a process of learning and then applying as you go. To be a performing musician most of the time, covers will be involved. If you're new to this sort of thing, it's wise to consider that people like to hear music they recognize. Uh, this is something to be careful about though, like earlier when I mentioned Trubify, there are venues where you can play and vendors through whom you can sell. A lot of venues that showcase live music will pay a performance rights organization a blanket licensing fee so creators are paid for their material performed as covers by other artists. Everything has a fee associated with it in one way or another. I'll go into that more in 30 seconds. In my story, my paid performances started as a combination of both original songs and cover songs. It's a little different these days, but 
this dynamic still exists and why be my different and now there's online performances so no matter what the platform is there's always the the matter of of paying the songwriter and publisher the proper licensing fee in any given situation it's important to recognize that not all material is appropriate for all places and times a significant lesson for me that being flexible with what you do in expanding what you can do can lead to greater abilities and opportunities there are a lot of possibilities out there but 30 seconds later or so watch out for all the little fees associated with everything for example the word just really never means just that uh, so if anybody ever tells you it's just eight dollars no it's not true it's actually 8.95 which is nearly nine dollars plus tax so there's ten dollars is there shipping or chipping involved 14 or 15 dollars it's a system that's set up to subconsciously fool you into spending more keep an eye out for this sort of thing if you've never seen it before but wait, there's more. There's, that's an add-on sales tactic. I'll say if you buy now, but only until tomorrow at midnight, you'll get X, you know, give your place product and ability more of a chance to sell, grow, blow up by X amount for only an additional $9.99. That's a total value of a gazillion dollars of the cost XYZ, but you have to act now. Did you catch how that works? You have a series of things surrounding one thing for sale ancillary products to make the main product more appealing maybe a giveaway or a trial as a lure towards purchases and a catchy hook freezes i said the term snake oil salesman earlier it's an archaic term from the 19th century the american frontier era these types of salesmen were con artists a con artist is typically a deceptive character looking to profit from someone's gullibility they would travel a lot to avoid liability such as it was at the time a man could get strung up for stealing a horse back then, but get away with their selling, playing crap to, to sick people as a cure-all. <laughs> My point in bringing up the term is just to serve as a warning. Every product or service out there will have its tiers. Tiers, hopefully not tiers. Levels. By that I mean levels of quality, from the imitation to the awesome. However, most products and services still will still use similar sales tactics. It's easy to be fooled, especially if the product is online. How many times have I seen something that's supposed to be stainless steel, but it's really not upon arrival? Or sterling silver, but you get it and it's just silver plated, or the same thing with gold. Oh, but there's the 30 day money back guarantee, so no problem, right? Really? This is another way you can get got. Many people will not have the time, materials, or organization to send stuff back, so even if a purchase is made in error, many times it won't get returned, and the profit is made regardless. There's an old Roman expression, caveat emptor, let the buyer beware. I say these things as someone who has seen quite a bit. Be careful not to get God if you can help it. And what I mean is, don't let yourself be taken advantage of if you can help it. Be aware and be cautious in every arena. Being cautious, you know, after that's the foregone conclusion, it's easy to con concentrate on, on people of good character and morals who are kind, skilled, and genuine. You don't let a rainy day spoil a sunny week. In other words, don't let negative attributes of a broken system interfere with your ability to relax and enjoy yourself here and there. Take time to appreciate yourself. Outdoor events are coming soon, so that'll be a silver lining on the gray clouds of a gloomy era. Believe in yourself. You can probably do more than you think you can. Sometimes I go about this series with a specific subtopic in mind, trying to impart aspects of experience and or knowledge. Other times, a theme will present itself as I progress. If you've found anything in this video or series educational, interesting, entertaining, or otherwise just nifty, please be sure to hit the like button. Thank you. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel so when I put out new content, it will show up on your feed and, and click the bell icon to get a notification. There's always a lot of original and fun stuff happening on this channel. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.